What is poppin' everybody? It's your boy Ray back at it again for another episode here on the second channel, Ray, with you. It is lovely to be back here. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves today. Hope you guys are having a fantastic kick butt day today so far. The question is, is how long am I going to keep that up before it dies off? The old school intro. Who knows, guys? We'll just take it how it goes. We'll go with the wind, baby. That's how the second channel is meant to be. Um... First things first, guys, I got to say, I'm sorry for how long it's uh, taken me to upload here on the second channel. I meant to do it a little bit earlier, even though I said that I wanted to upload every single week. Um, but I find it a little bit more important, especially during like the growth or the introduction of a new channel, you know what I mean, to have consistent content or regular content. And once a week, I feel like uh, feels a little bit too unregular, but uh, we're working on it, guys. This last week was, man freaking insane this last week was just a lot of my plate and we're definitely going to be getting into that today because that is the topic of today's video and that is burnout definitely a little bit of a different topic than our first episode on this channel the first episode we talked a little bit more about myself but i guess the second episode is a little bit about myself i should say quite a bit about myself um but a much different topic, that's for dang sure. And I want this channel just to be kind of whatever comes to my mind, whatever I want to talk about um, during the episode so you guys can just kick back, relax, and listen to what I have to say. Um, but uh, we're definitely going to be getting into a certain segment, like I mentioned in the first episode, where um, I have an email open. I mean, you guys can send me questions of certain things, such as if you're dealing with something, if you have questions for me, maybe you're heading into college or you're having a, huff, uh, a tough time in high school um, and something's getting to you. If I have the expertise, if I have the life experience in my 24 years here, I can give it. And in general, even if I answer the question, I'm not that good or not that experienced with it. There's definitely going to be some people in the community that can aid in the opinion there in the comments down below so really looking forward to that with that in mind there's going to be an email in the description down below um, you guys can send me whatever i'm not going to be super frugal with that i can't reply to a lot of stuff there's just too much on my plate nowadays to do that kind of thing um, but just know that i'm going to be reading through every single one of the emails that you send me um, and try to pick out some really good ones that I feel like is best for all of you guys to hear for an upcoming video that we can all kind of grow from and experience together. Um, but yeah, getting back to the main topic of today's video, and that is burnout. My goodness, guys. I want to start off with today's video and just say I'm not sure if you guys understand when it comes to like youtubers and stuff like that and i am a victim of this i shouldn't say a victim i am <laughs> it's literally the complete opposite right come on get your mind together <laughs> it's the second channel dude get it together but literally like the accuser here in this situation but like i remember looking to some of my favorite youtubers in the space when i was a bit younger and i would always expect something from them you know what i mean like where's this video this day like, I'm excited to watch this video. Oh, he didn't upload this time. Why didn't he? I'm angry. Or I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, but I feel like what a lot of people fail to realize is that, of course, there is a person behind the whole makeup of their channel, right? Starts to get a little bit tough when you think of it that way. Um, because a lot of the time, like... Some people just do it all by themselves. I know a lot of really successful YouTubers that uh, edit, they do their thumbnails, they record, they post daily, and they do it all by themselves. It's a one-man operation. That is a lot of work. When you think about a YouTuber making videos about a, uh, like a video game or something like that, something that you really enjoy playing, it sounds like an absolute dream job. And I'm not going to lie, it is really, really nice. I really enjoy my job being able to stay at home. Um, connect with a lot of people, enjoy people in the community when it comes to my colleagues, like in the YouTube space with Tribe Gaming and stuff like that. That is an absolute joy for me. Um, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, but I feel like what a lot of people fail to realize is just how much work really goes into it. Um, it's basically transitioning from a normal job, I guess in my circumstance, into a full-time running your own business type of job. You know what I mean? Everything's on you. And I don't know if you know this about your boy Ray, 
Um, and I've had a few comments say this as recently, and it always kind of makes me turn a different way. Just because I have a lot of pride in my work, I try my best in what I do. Um, but a lot of people saying like, "You did a or your editor did a great job on that video," or "Who's your editor?" I would like to get in contact with them. But then I tell them, "You know what? I did that." <laughs> I edit my videos, I make my thumbnails, I record my videos. Guys, on the Ray Brawl Stars channel, where I'm most active, it is a full-time job, a one-man crew. I do it all by myself, and I don't know, I feel like I'm okay with that. I have a really hard time like passing it off to people if I had to have someone edit my things. I feel like I like to go, or I feel like I've grown accustomed to edit towards my personality or like with my personality, you know what I mean? Or I feel like uh, passing it off to a new editor, I feel like they would have a hard time kind of getting down what I want to get across, you know? I just want to, I want my videos to convey just being able to mellow out, chill out, and just not even that, just kind of enjoy yourself, like have a good time, you know what I mean? Like I do my absolute best to be myself in my videos like I'm doing right now. And I hope a lot of people can kind of resonate with that. You know what I mean? Like they can just kick back, relax, and enjoy the community that you all have grown here in the Ray Burl Stars Hemisphere or the Ray With You channel nowadays as we're talking here. But uh, I guess we really haven't talked a whole lot about burnout and my experience with that. So why don't we get back to that whole topic? So I feel like I've had a few phases of burnout in my life, and the way that I describe burnout is, for example, you could be so dang fine, you're grooving, you're doing fantastic with your day-to-day, but then all of a sudden, like one day you feel very uninspired, you just wake up in the morning, you can't think of anything, you're feeling groggy from the last day, and you just like can't find the motivation or you can't find that little pocket of inspiration that you normally do when it comes to a video to do it and it's very frustrating like you feel like defeated most of the time and there's been some times where I've like mentioned in a community post that it's like you know today I'm just feeling very very tired and I can't do it and it's because of that stinking burnout and I've definitely beat myself up over it in the past guys I don't know if you've noticed this if you watch my Brawl Stars videos which I'm sure you do I'm sure that's why you're here coming from that channel <laughs> of course the second channel Ray with you um, but when it comes to like if I have to skip an upload because something comes up or I've get outside of my upload schedule like I seriously feel so dang bad like I can't get away with it say I don't upload a day like I feel like I need to create a community post not like I need to but I feel like I don't want to let people down who are looking forward to it which kind of comes with the job right I shouldn't call it a job comes with what we're doing here I feel like um I really tried to preach trying to connect with you guys as best best as possible which I do on the daily basis like I'm really really trying to understand names I have some names jotted down on a sketchbook of people who are very, very nice to me each day so I can kind of remember if they comment again the next day and say thank you, not even say thank you, just kind of recognize that that was them so I can be a little bit more friendly with them, you know, like talk to them like a normal person and just kind of do like the day-to-day commenting on things and things along those lines. But it gets really, really difficult when it comes to like a very large group of people, you know what I mean? Like... I know I even touched on this in the first episode. How can one person care for so many people? And I think it is genuinely possible. You can throw out as much love and compassion to your audience like I'm trying to do here on the second channel, giving you guys like somewhat of a small platform um, to say what's kind of on your mind with a segment coming up here that we can talk about. And hopefully you can help you guys out who are listening as well in a certain way. And I want that to be the outcome of it, but a lot of it is just really trying to keep a solid positive influence on the people that are watching your channel, right? You cannot be negative because there's people who are watching you, right? Every single day. I get so dang humbled. Say, for example, I do bad in like a tribe recording, like I'm very passive or I'm not talkative, which takes a lot of effort in tribe videos because there's a lot of people there who have very overpowering personalities compared to mine. So like, If I get overpowered one day, 
and I'm not talking a whole lot, then I feel really, really bad because there's a lot of people watching. Um, or even on my channel, say I seem a little bit down or I'm tired and I know a lot of you guys can tell if I'm a little bit sleep deprived for a video, then I feel bad as well because I know there's a good 50,000 people at least watching that exact episode, which is extremely humbling when you think about it a little bit more in depth. It's like 50,000. That's so many people. <laughs> but I feel like once again, we are getting off track. Let's get back to burnout. So like I said before, I feel like I've experienced burnout a lot of different times in the past. And it kind of is attributed to how much work I put on myself when it comes to uploading daily, um, editing my videos and doing my own thumbnails. And I think it even increased more when I tried to learn more with editing. My editing isn't like crazy like top notch or anything like that. I try to put a big emphasis on like honing in on really exciting parts or trying to make some stuff like comical with my editing. But other than that, I can't really spend a good like six hours a day editing my videos if I'm uploading daily. And I try my absolute best to keep it consistent with that. But with that workload on top of creating thumbnails that I'm okay with, right? I'm very ornery with my thumbnails. I take a lot of pride in enjoying my thumbnails. It's been my absolute favorite outlet when it comes to YouTube. Um, I'll never give up my thumbnails. I'll never have another person make my thumbnails here on my channel. Um, but on top of the excess workload, there comes a time where you just feel like you can't go on. You know what I mean? Like you come to this point where it's like, it's almost like you're doing something and you like, have the feeling like you expect a break in the future. You know what I mean? Almost like you're working towards a break. You're working that hard that you think that there's something on the horizon. But with YouTube uploading daily especially, there's nothing on the horizon. If that's your upload schedule, you don't have days off. You don't get a Saturday or Sunday. Like even if you're working a good like eight hours a day, say for example, which I definitely exceed each day that's still insane to think about if you have to work that much time every single day. And I'm not saying my job is strenuous, right? We're not picking up stuff that's heavy, which I've had jobs like that in the past. Maybe that can be for a different video. All my different jobs I've had like nine of them in my life, which is crazy for how old I am. <laughs> um, but just being so tuned up with what you're doing every day, it's one thing that with YouTube that's like really frustrating is that you can't escape it, you know? It's just always active. So it almost feels like you're working like a good, like literally 24 hours a day. You know what I mean? Like you're constantly worried about what's the next idea, especially if you're uploading daily. What do I do tomorrow? What should I do this day? If I'm going out this weekend with a couple of friends, I need to prepare a few episodes in advance so that I can actually enjoy a weekend with my friends. So then because of that, I need to double up for like three days, <laughs> do twice as much work, make two videos a day just to make sure I can have fun a weekend. And I know, I, I guess I see a lot of you guys saying stuff in the comments when it comes to like, yo, Ray, like... Don't feel bad about taking a break. It's not that big a deal. Like, make sure to get your rest. Take your health first and stuff like that. And I get that. Like, I really genuinely appreciate that. Whenever I see those videos, I think, honestly, half of the reason I post a community post when I physically can't upload a day is to get some feedback from you guys, right? To get some, like, comfort from you guys, which I don't... I wouldn't consider that weak. I feel like that's like a I feel like that's good. I feel like we've cultivated a good relationship if I actually do that, if I turn to you guys for comfort. <laughs> um so I think what we're doing here on both channels is a really really good thing and I'm proud of kind of the community that you guys have really actually created here around my channel and I really genuinely appreciate that. It is it's right it's really nice to be able to have a, a comfort system when I need it. So I guess that's a very big perk to YouTube, and I need to make sure to keep that in mind moving forward as well. Um, but back to my original point, when I'm looking at these comments saying it's okay to take a break and stuff like that, I wish it was that easy. I know I've gotten a much, much better since I've been in the past where I remember I would get so dang 
like manic about uploading daily, where I would never miss it. When it came to, for example, if something really important came up, like a friend came in town and he hasn't been in town for like two years, I would say, well, I can come at 9 o'clock p.m. while all my friends have been there since 5 um, because I'm doing a video right now. We're in like the normal person's headspace. They should be saying that, you know, that is a friend that I haven't seen forever. I need to really value the time that I could be spending with that person and I shouldn't be doing this right now. Um, but I was always so dang crazy about it. Like I couldn't get away from it, which is why also I had a very big problem with answering comments as well. I'd always feel very, very bad if I didn't answer a lot of comments. Nowadays, it's a bit different because there's a lot of comments, like physically an amount that I literally cannot answer, like the whole amount. But I remember back in the day when I had a little bit of a smaller channel and I was starting to get a tiny bit bigger. I was getting more and more comments each video. I had this standard where like when I was a bit smaller, I would answer every comment. You know, I'd answer every comment. I would heart every comment, try to interact with my community. But as it was growing <laughs> and I was keeping up that trend, answering every comment became like very, very stressful. Like it, it was like it became like a two or three hour process just to answer freaking comments, which is insane to think about. Now I only allot myself 30 minutes to 45 minutes. If I go over that, it's not that huge of a deal, but you never want to like exceed an hour. If you're going that far and you're getting too involved in your comments for that long, then it becomes a problem because you're wasting time on other things that you could be doing as well as it's not good for your health. Then you're going to start to get like too antsy about um, answering more comments and stuff like that. Like I even have times where I'm answering my comments and I'm at that like say like 45 minute mark answer or uh, after I'm answering them and then I see like a really really nice comment someone saying like I really appreciate your videos I really really love what you're doing here and stuff like that and then I really want to answer them you know what I mean like I want to say thank you so much for your support like that really means a lot to me um and then I scroll down one more and it's like kind of the same exact thing it's like I'm going to answer that because it's very, very nice. <laughs> like, it's really very nice that they're saying that. So I answer them too. And then it kind of continued that process. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it's like a mental thing. I'm just going to say that it's... I, f I feel like I've just cared a little bit too much about YouTube, which is crazy to say is my job. And I care a whole heck of a lot about every single one of you watching this video. Um, but I feel like sometimes the most successful YouTuber can flip a switch, right? Like when they can just shut everything down, they can be successful, they can do their business, but then they shut down and they don't feel anxious about leaving something be, which is the complete opposite of me. I feel like I can't walk away from anything, which definitely contributes to me feeling so dang tired every single day and what I'm doing here on YouTube. And it's not a problem. I'm going to keep tanking it out for as long as I absolutely possibly can. Um, I don't know. I feel like I've never been more passionate about a job in my entire life. Like, you could never see me trying this dang hard at, like, the golf course, like I mentioned in uh, the last episode, like I couldn't do it. The only reason I was working 40 to 45 hours a week at the golf course was because it was a job, like I was actually employed. If I wouldn't work, then I'd be fired. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing here that's that kind of influence on me at YouTube, like telling me to do something like a, like a boss or something like that. Like it's all on me at the end of the day. Like I'm my own I'm my own business owner. I keep everything going. There's nothing else keeping it going other than me. But still, I keep it going and I won't let it go. You know what I mean? So I guess we'll call that maybe passion. I don't know. But I think a lot of it also contributes to like not wanting to let a lot of people down as well. So like sometimes I feel really, really bad if I don't upload a day because I don't want people to like I don't like feeling like people are waiting for something like they're waiting for an upload because I see so many of your comments saying like you enjoy the uploads and stuff like that. Like it makes my day. 
which is insane. Like, I really, really appreciate that. And then, like, when I'm not able to do that a day just because of, like, something personable or personal that, like, is almost like an excuse-based thing, then that makes me feel really, really bad because then that's, like, my fault, you know? But that kind of just comes with the whole burnout vibe, especially with daily uploaders. But, yeah, guys, I feel like this video has gone on a little bit long enough here. I want to try to do, like, videos that are more like get to know me more as well as stuff like this as well this is going to be kind of just like my get into the psyche of ray type videos i guess you know what i mean just get to know me a bit more what i'm talking about which honestly if i had someone who i was watching on youtube i would really really appreciate if they would do that and i could like hear what they're physically saying like what's behind the youtube channel um, what are they actually thinking? You know what I mean? Like, what's going on in their life? We we only see you on this 15-minute-a-day platform, you know? Like, there's plenty more after that. Like, you've got to be a different person outside of that. So, yeah. I'm trying to do my best here. I would, Like I said before, I'm going to keep going with everything that I'm doing here on this channel, on the Ray Brawl Stars channel, as long as I possibly can. And I'm not feeling burnt out as of right now. Like, I'm starting to get to the point, I had a few really rough days the last, like, two days with, like, Tribe on top of, like, the daily uploads. Because, like, sometimes there'll be, like, days where we try to make up videos or we try to, like, stockpile some videos. And, like, man, two days ago, we recorded three Tribe videos. It took around four hours to record. And on top of that, I still had to do my video and, of course, like, your daily other things with YouTube, like, on the business and the things. So, it was just, like, I felt like I was just, like, staring at my computer and from, like, 6 o'clock in the morning until, like, 9 p.m. But uh, I guess those days kind of come. You have good days, you have bad days. Um, but, yeah, guys, I think that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys know just how hard I'm trying to keep up with stuff, how hard I'm trying to keep you guys in loop or keep you guys entertained with like brawl stars content and stuff like that like even if i'm tired i'm gonna try my absolute best i remember i made a community post a really long time ago and i said and i really really meant it that i'm gonna try my absolute best for all of you guys i'm like no matter what i'm gonna try my absolute best it doesn't matter if i have to work freaking 15 hours a day i don't care I'm going to try my absolute best no matter what. And if I fail, say a day that I am working on a video and it takes me until like 8 p.m. and I'm like five hours outside of my preferred upload time, then it's okay to take the L and be okay with that. But I try my best to get that done. Like I'm going to try my best no matter what. I'm going to live by that, which is why I feel like I've been doing so okay. i am been doing good. I'm not good at like complimenting myself, but been doing good on YouTube and the success that I've had on YouTube. It's because that I took it very seriously and I'm passionate about it and that I've always tried my best with what I'm doing. But yeah, guys, that is episode number two, a little bit more of a heavier one today, but that's all right, guys. Hey, we're living human beings. It's impossible to be happy or to be joyful hundred uh, percent of your life. I'm not saying I'm sad or anything like that. I'd say I'm just passionate and kind of talking about frustrations, which isn't that crazy big a thing. Everyone has frustrations. And I hope you guys understand that. But yeah, guys, that is most definitely long enough for today's video. Um, at the end here, I saw a bunch of comments on last episode saying like, where's the webcam and stuff like that. I'm going to keep this uh, channel completely webcam free. It helps me to talk a little bit more personable so I don't have to like stare at a camera the whole time and worry about like my expressions and things like that especially if I'm not like dressed the part and stuff like that maybe I wake up in the morning in my pajamas my hair looking all crazy and I just want to talk into a microphone I'm gonna do that it makes me feel a little bit better as well as I feel like it gives off a little bit more of a comfortable vibe right where you can just watch the gameplay in the background and just listen to what is happening with my voice so I kind of want to keep it like that here moving forward. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. Um, if you want to see my face, go ahead and check out <laughs> my main channel over on the Ray Brawl Stars channel where you see my face every day. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I think I'll leave you off on that note. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic day today. Hopefully you guys are staying safe once again. 
um, during these tough times here. We're kind of getting closer to the end of 2020, so I'm hoping 2021 will be a bit better, about four months away from that point here. So I think that will be freaking hype. Um, on a side note, before I leave you guys, my bro beans, my brother, I haven't seen him in like three months. He's coming home this weekend. I'm really, really excited to see him. So enough, right? It's time to go. I'll check you guys later. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Once again, I'm trying to upload about once a week-ish. That's kind of the deadline here in the channel. So yeah, guys, much love. Adios. See you in the next episode. Peace out.